welcome to today's session. So I hope you had a great Sunday where you could practice a lot. Uh, so these sessions are for AP ISET aspirants. Today I'm going to give you a very important information in terms of your practice uh, sessions where you can log on to a, a particular link and you can practice online for AP ISET before your main exam. All right. So I want to quickly show you the link which you need to use for practice sessions. Uh, here is the link. Just give me a moment. <coughs> I just want to change the font size a little bit so that this is easier for you to see. And I'm also going to tell you what will be the user ID and password for uh, for taking the assessments. All right. Okay, so please take down this particular link. This this is basically your uh, so this is your API set online practice test link http colon double slash job skills dot apssdc dot in slash sdc dash assessment. So this is the link that you need to use for your practice assessment. Now I'll quickly show you how the screens look like so that you can go ahead and make use of this link. All right. So this is a link which I just showed you. Uh, the, just a moment. So this is a link. You need to log in. Now the question is, what will be your user ID and password? So this is a screen that you will come across when you're logging in for the first time or the second time. You need to enter your user ID. Your user ID is your Aadhaar number. Please remember, your user ID is your Aadhaar number. The password is something which you will create when you're logging in for the first time. And if you already have a password for this website, you can use that password. If you do not have a password, like you create a profile or password in Gmail, you need to do the same. But the user ID is your Aadhaar number. Your, your profiles are already registered. Aadhaar numbers are already there in the database. So please use your Aadhaar number as the user ID. And the password is something which you will create on your own. Okay? Once you create it, you will enter the screen where you need to uh, enter the test code. The test code is something, if you are taking test number 1, you will say test 1, test space 1. If you are taking the second one, the second test, you will say test 2. So which you will see a list of tests, so whichever you want to take, just mention test, space and the number. That is a code, security code that you need to enter. So first you need to enter your Aadhaar number, you need to create your passwords, so use that password to log in. Then you need to enter the security code, test 1, test 2, test 3, whichever test you are taking, accordingly you need to enter the details. And once you do that, you will come to this particular screen where you need to read the instruction. Once you are done reading instruction, you need to click on the start button. Okay. Once you click on the start button, you will come to this particular screen. You will come to this particular screen where you will start the exam. It will show how much time you are left with. Now this is in sync with the main API set exam, two and a half hours. It will show you how much time you have, you are left with and the clock will start ticking. So you can choose unit one after another and start marking answers. So this is how your questions will look like. I know the screen is not clear at all. 
I will open the link and I will show you how to take this test. So these are multiple choice questions. Always click on the on the answer which you think is correct and submit. All right. So let's use this particular link and see how it works. All right. So I'm ent so I'm just opening this particular link which has been given by APSSDC. So there you go. There's a user ID and password which you will enter. So let me expand this just a little bit. You will see something called forgot password or forgot password for a student. Now here I, I, I will enter the username and password. If you say forgot password, you can definitely create your password here. All right. Now let me go and uh, use the user ID and password that has been given to me. So I already have a test user ID and password. So I'm going to use that for you and I will show you how the screen looks like. Okay. All right. So here I will enter the test code. So I'm saying test one because I want to take the first test and I click on submit. Now it says text one, it does not exist. So let me check test two. Just a moment. For some reason, it's not working. Uh, just a moment. Let me quickly check. Okay, for some reason, it's not working. So let me get that fixed. Suppose the break time, I will get that fixed. But here is how the screen will look like. So basically you will have these questions and you need to select the correct option. So you will have multiple options here. You need to select the options and you will see the button here which says submit test. Once you submit test, it will also give you the total marks that you have scored. On the left side here, it will show you the clock which is on a uh, countdown timer mode for two and a half hours. All right. So uh, uh, I'll, I'll get you more details in the, in the second half of the session. For some reason, the link is not working. So let me figure out what needs to be fixed and I will help you with that. Uh, now the other day we were talking about uh, functional grammar, if you remember, right? So what do we mean by functional grammar and why is it important? Now, in order to understand the importance of functional grammar, we need to understand the question paper pattern for API set. So basically there will be three sections, section A, B and C. A is for analytical ability, B is for mathematical ability. A and B, uh, right now the training is going on from morning till afternoon. C is communication ability, which I am taking care of. Here. In, in communication ability, your uh, subjects will be vocabulary, business and computer terminology, functional grammar and reading comprehension. There will be a total of 200 questions which needs to be answered in two and a half hours. How many questions for vocabulary and uh, for communication ability? So the total number of questions is 50, 10 plus 10, 20 plus 30, 50. Vocabulary 10 questions, business and computer terminology 10 questions, functional grammar 15 questions, reading comprehension you will basically have 3 passages with 5 questions each. So that makes it 5 into 3, 15 questions. So total 50 questions in communication ability. We are already done with reading comprehension training. The links are up on uh, YouTube so please do take a look at it. Right now we are doing functional grammar. Now what do we mean by grammar? This was covered on Saturday. 
So these are basically rules in English, but actually they are not rules, these are structures, right? We went through the parts of speech, we looked at the examples of parts of speech, noun, pronoun, adjective, verb, adverb, preposition, interjection, conjunction. So today uh, we will talk a bit more about pronoun, noun is done, which we, 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 which we did on Saturday with examples on noun and we also did lot of examples for pronoun as well if you remember, right? And we did quick exercise on identifying singular and plural nouns. Remember uh, I told you words like furniture, luggage, data, they do, uh, garbage, it, uh, they do not have a plural form so they are used as a singular form only. Then we looked at the pronoun, pronoun is a substitute for noun. I, you, we, they, he, she, it, me, us, them, him, her, this, those. So these are the examples of pronouns. I gave you the example and then we did a quick exercise on usage of pronouns. So let us talk about adjective today. What do you mean by adjective? The other day I explained to you something that qualifies or describes or modifies the noun and gives more information about the noun or the pronoun as well. Examples of adjective, big, happy, green for example, uh, the, uh, the car is really big, the car is a noun, I am defining the noun, so the car is big, how is the car? The car is big, so big is an adjective. Uh, say for example, I say John is very happy today, now John is a noun and I am describing how John is today. So John is very happy today, so happy is an adjective. Uh, the apple is green right now, so I had a green apple. What apple? I had a green apple. So green is an adjective because that is defining the apple. Young, he is a young man, uh, even though his age is 56, but he still looks very young. So I am defining this person, so young is an adjective. Fun, crazy. All these are examples of adjective. Let us look at an example of adjective. The little girl had a pink hat. Now the little girl had a pink hat. What kind of hat? What color of hat? So that is pink. And how was the girl? The girl was little. So little and pink is an adjective here. Let us look at uh, the, the types of adjective. So the first one is something that defines the quality, for example, it is a dangerous chemical, I like green vegetables, the box is square, it is not rectangle, the box is square. So something that is defining the quality of the noun, that is quality in terms of adjective. Then we also have adjective in terms of quantity, he has eaten three apples, I do not have much money. This long thin centipede has many legs. So here it is defining the quantity, the earlier one is defining the quality. Then we have something called a demonstrative adjective. For example, this red balloon is mine and those three yellow ones are yours. This cute baby is his brother, that cute baby is his sister. So this and that, demonstrative means I am demonstrating something, I am directing something. So that is a demonstrative adjective, alright. Now we also have types of grammar, how it changes in terms of singular and plural form. So we have my becomes our, your be remains your, his becomes their, her becomes their, its becomes their. So it changes depending on <coughs> if it is a possessive noun or not. So possessive noun, singular, plural form changes. Now here I have put together certain questions. Let us take up these questions uh, to check our grammar knowledge which we have acquired so far. Number one, I dash a new bike yesterday. I bought, I have bought. So the correct answer is A, I bought, B O U G H T. Now there is something very important that you need to know, just a moment, let me open a blank slide.
so in terms of tense we can have a past and present form right something that has happened in the past something that is happening in the present tense uh, let me change the format for you so that I, I just want to make it as comfortable as possible okay so there could be three forms present past and future but in terms of verb I am only going to use present and past okay there are words where people get confused a lot so this is what I am going to demonstrate today okay all right let's go if I have a word which is by okay now <coughs> the past tense of by a lot of people think it's bide because I have a word which is pay and I can just say paid but it doesn't work like that okay so if I have the word by the past tense is bought if I have the present tense as bring the past tense is brought <laughs> so people get confused between these two words so please do not get confused if it is B O U G H T it is a past tense of by if it is B R O U G H T it is a past tense of bring if I have the word eat the past tense is ate if I have the word as hurt the past tense is not hurted it is still hurt if I have a word which is read my past tense is also read it just that the pronunciation will change as read I have read this book okay so please do not get confused especially between these two words all right let us go on so question number one I dash a new bike yesterday it's I bought a new bike yesterday number two if you don't hurry up now you dash late for school you have been means it's in the past and it's going on you are means it's present tense I'm saying if you are late if you don't hurry up you will be late so option C is the correct answer all right question number three I would spend my holidays in London if I dash enough money now there is a point which you need to understand here the whole situation is hypothetical so if you have a hypothetical situation you will always use the word were or uh, in terms of a different context in this context it says if I would I would spend my holidays in London if I had enough money option B that means I do not have money that is why I am not in London but in case if I had money I would I would be in London so I would spend my holidays in London if I had enough money so option B is the correct option <laughs> number four they dash water sports they dash water sports they are not water sports they like not water sports they do not like water sports so read this and tell me what is the correct answer so option C is the correct answer they do not like or they do not like question number five I dash for shopping tomorrow I will be going for shopping tomorrow I will go for shopping tomorrow I went for shopping tomorrow 
option C is incorrect because it says I shopping tomorrow. Tomorrow is future tense and option C is past tense. So obviously option C is incorrect. Now I will be going is also incorrect because it is a very uh, incorrect way of talking. So it is I will go for shopping tomorrow. Number 6, Ram and his team dash recently won a tournament. Ram and his team dash recently won a tournament. Should it be has or should it be have? When should you use have and when should you use has? Okay. Let me show you some example. has versus have. You will use has when you have a singular noun or singular subject. You will use have when you have plural noun or plural subject. Okay. Let us take an example. I hope this is visible. Let me remove this. Okay, I hope this is visible. All right, let me show you an example here. He has the most beautiful book. So, when I am saying he, that is a singular, I will use H A S has. Now, when I am changing the he to a plural form they, so obviously I am changing this form to have. He has the most beautiful book they have the most number of books. So, when I am changing the subject to plural, I am using have. If it is singular, it is has. Now, in this question that you have, it says Ram and his team dash recently won a tournament. Please pay attention. It says Ram and his team, which means Ram is a part of the team and there is only one team we are talking about which means it is a singular form. So, do not get confused here. Ram is a part of the team. It is only one team which means it is singular. That is why we will use option A which is Ram and his team has recently won a tournament. It is not have, it is has. Question number 7. They dash put in all the hard work for the success of the team. Very simple. They is a plural word, so I will use have. They have put in all the hard work for the success of the team. I think we dash the training sessions next quarter. I think we begin, we will begin, we are going to begin, we are beginning. Option C, we are going to begin is a wrong way of writing and speaking. I have heard a lot of people in AP, uh, Telangana, Hyderabad, they talk like going to. So, what is your plan tomorrow? I am going to come to office. I am going to come to office does not make sense. Are you going to come tomorrow? Does not make sense. I will be going for shopping at 4 o'clock. Why do you need I will be going? Just say I will go or are you coming tomorrow? Are you going to come? it is not needed at all, it is a direct translation. So, op uh, question number 8, option C is incorrect. It is not, I think we are going to begin. No, I think we will begin the training sessions next quarter. So, option B is the correct answer, we will begin. 
question number 9 tomorrow we dash at 2 pm tomorrow we will meet at 2 pm 2 pm tomorrow we meet at 2 pm tomorrow we are going to meet at 2 pm again this going to is not needed tomorrow we are meeting now it cannot be we are meeting because it's a present continuous tense so tomorrow we will meet at 2 pm so option a is the correct answer question number 10 could you please dash some dash me some money could you please borrow me some money lend me some money borrow means when you are taking it from someone lend means when you are giving it to someone in this uh, context in this question you are willing or you are expressing your desire to take money from someone so you say could you please lend me some money borrow means to give lend means to take or ask so could you please lend me some money i don't mind dash if you are tired i don't mind to drive i don't mind driving i don't mind to be driving i don't mind drive here since i have uh, the i don't uh, form already i will be using option b I don't mind driving if you are tired. Question number 12, they arrived while we were having dinner, when we were having dinner, during we were having dinner, for we were having dinner. Obviously, for is not the correct option. They arrived when is also not the correct option because when becomes a question. It is a question word. So, while is a correct answer, they arrived while we were having dinner. Next, they have sold dash car which they won in a lottery, T H E R E there, T H E I R there, the and for. Now, do not get confused with this one because it is fairly simple. just a moment okay so we have two different words here which i want to show you Okay. T H E R E there, this is a preposition. T H E I R, this is a plural form, a plural pronoun. Okay. For example, if it has to be singular. I can say his, hers. Instead of saying his or her, I am saying their. So, this is a plural pronoun and this is a preposition. So, please do not get confused. T H E R E and T H E I R. In this case, they have sold their car which they won in a lottery. It is B or the correct answer here is C. They have sold the car which they won in the lottery. Option C is the correct answer. Question number 14. I dash for this company since 1998. I worked for this company since 1998. I am working. I work. I have worked. Now, in order to understand this particular question, you need to understand one fundamental aspect in terms of the usage of the words and that is from versus since. When should you use firm, uh, from and when should you use since? 
Okay. So, I am going to give you example and I am going to explain to you. We use from when there is a definite end time, we use since, oops, when, when the action continues and there and there is not any definite end time. Okay. So, let me explain what do I mean by this, I am going to give you an example, so that it is easier for you to understand. I am going to reduce the font size, I am sure this is still visible to you. All right. Now, let me give you a quick example for from and since. or so i attended the training from 3 pm till 5 pm this is one example let me give you another example I will be in Mumbai from 15th May till 31st May. So, since I have a definite end time, I will use from. Okay. When do we use since? When I do not have a definite end time. For example, I had been living in Hyderabad since 2001. I I was waiting for you since 1 p.m. Oops. So, that is another example, okay. which means it has started, but it has not ended. That is why I will use a since form. So, please do not get confused between the from and the since forms, when to use from and when to use since. Question number 14, it says I dash work for this company since 1998, which means it has not ended, I am still working. So, I am working for this company since 1998, option B is the correct answer. Question number 15, she dashed me to help her develop an ID program, ID training program. She has asked me, she have asked me, now have is not applicable because she is a singular, asked me or was asked me, was asked is not correct. So, I need to choose between A and C and C is the correct answer. She asked me to help her develop an IT training program. All right. So, this is about adjective uh, as well as other uh, application of parts of speech. What we will do is, uh, we will take a break, we will come back, I will try to get you the correct link for the assessment, I will find out how to go about the test codes. Once that is done, I will take you through functional grammar, the next part which is in terms of verb. So, what do we mean by verb? Verb is action. Whenever we talk about action, we also have to talk about time. 
when did the action take place was it in the past present or future so once we are done with verb i will explain adverb and then will will take it further the most important aspect i will also cover which is subject verb agreement and we'll look at some sample questions for i said all right so let's take a quick break and we come back soon thank you <laughs>